Have you ever wanted to let your viewers control your camera? No? Just me? Well, I suppose I'll just end it here then. Wait, wait! What if I told you you can use streamer.bot to do with commands or channel point redemptions? That's what I thought. And while this works for any camera, we are going to do it with this. This is the OBSBOT Tiny2 Lite, a 4K 30fps or 1060p 60fps PTZ camera with some amazing functionalities. Well, this is just an empty box. You've been looking at it all along. While this video is not sponsored by OBSBOT, I do want to thank OBSBOT for providing me with the OBSBOT Tiny2 Lite so I can make this video extra cool. First thing we are going to do is get the Move plugin by Exceldro for OBS. That is what's going to make this all possible. To get this, find it on the OBS website or just Google Move plugin OBS and click the download button. Once you've downloaded it, extract it into your OBS folder and reboot your OBS. If you've installed it correctly, you make a new scene and add your camera. As you can see, OBS immediately recognizes the OBSBOT Tiny2 Lite, so there's no hassle setting that up. Click OK and head into the filter menu for the camera. If everything's gone right so far, you will see a lot of new filters you can add for your camera, but for our case, we are interested in the Move Video Capture Device option. This allows us to directly control the settings of the OBSBOT Tiny2 Lite, and the first thing we are going to set up is a zoom functionality. With a PTC camera, this becomes super easy, because you can just set the Move value type to Add and find the camera control zoom setting in the settings menu. Then you set your value to 2, and your zoom in is done. To make people able to zoom out again, we are going to duplicate that filter and name it zoom out. For the settings, we are just going to change the value to minus two. That now allows us to zoom out. If you do not have a PTZ camera like this, you can still do this, but we are going to have to use a little workaround. Instead of adding the settings straight to the camera, we are going to right click the camera source and open the transform menu. Here, set the positional alignment to center and quickly stop the source from running off screen by dragging it straight back to the center. Now open the scene filters and add a move source filter and call it zoom in. Scroll down to the settings and in the transform box, click on transform relative. Now set the scale multiplier to 1.205 for both the X and the Y value. Now if we activate the filter, it zooms in, but we can't zoom out yet. For this, duplicate the zoom in and rename it zoom out. Then in the transform Transform, set the scale multipliers that we just set to 1.25 to 0 0.97561. And yes, we need that many digits to be precise. Now, if that one activates, we zoom out again. The awesome thing about the point tilt zoom function of the OBSBOT Tiny2 Lite, however, is that we can take it even further. With this one, whoops. I shouldn't punch the microphone. With this one, we can also allow your viewers to turn the camera side to side and up and down. So let's head back to the OBSBOT and open the filters again. Duplicate the zoom in filter and rename it pan left. Change the setting to camera control pan and set the value to three. Duplicate that one again and rename it to pan right, changing the value to minus three to be able to pan both ways. Now for the tilt. For this, we are just gonna make two more duplicates. Duplicate the pan left and call it tilt up and duplicate the pan right and call it tilt down. Now just set the camera control pan to camera control tilt and you are ready to go. All this comes with a massive problem though that we need to address. What if your viewers zoom out so much that you disappear or tilt away completely? Well, then you need to be able to reset your camera to its original point. Luckily, this is super easy with a PTC camera because it allows us to set preset positions, meaning you can just set your normal camera position to preset one and pressing it immediately shifts it back to your face. And the best thing is you can set not one, not two, but three preset positions. Just so we're clear, you 
are doing that right now, right? If you don't have a PTC camera, you can do the same. Resize your camera so it's in the right size and in the right spot. Hop back into the scene filters and make a new move filter. Call this something like camera reset. In the move filter, go to the transform box and click get transform. There you go. Now your camera can also reset itself. With that all in place, you might want to make it easier for you to control. And I fully understand that needing to open Opspot Center or your filters every single time you need to reset your camera is annoying. But you can do that much easier with a Stream Deck. If you just want to reset the zoom, then you can make a new action in Streamer.bot and set a Scene Filter State sub action from the OBS Scene sub menu. Here, choose the scene you have your camera in and choose the Reset Filter. Set it to Visible and add that action as a button to your Stream Deck using the Streamer.bot plugin. If you are using the Opsbot Tiny2 Lite, however, you can reset the zoom, the tilt, the pan, everything with the Opsbot Stream Deck plugin. This plugin allows you to do practically everything from the Opsbot Center on your Stream Deck, like activating your presets, moving your camera around, zooming, and even enabling and disabling the AI-powered tracking. Speaking of tracking, I've got to show you this, because I think this may just be one of the best features of the Tiny2 Lite. You can either use your Stream Deck button or a simple hand gesture to cause your Opsbot light to start following you. Personally, I like to set it to upper body and the tracking is absolutely phenomenal. I can move to the left, I can move to the right, I can move down, I can move up and it will still try to find me. I can even hide from the camera and it will still track me. No matter what I do, it just tracks me. I even tried to juke it by feigning my movement and even then it managed to hold on to me. I am honestly considering this camera as an addition to my usual setup so I can walk around freely and be on the other side of the room and can still be heard which is especially great for VR streamers. Oh, and if it's far away and you want it to stop, you can just hold your hand up again and it will stop tracking you immediately. Similarly, if you need to zoom in, you can hold up an L next to your head and it zooms in. Do that again and it will go away again. Although I am a very animate talker, I use my hands a lot when I'm trying to explain things. So I usually have these turned off if I'm streaming at my desk. But with the Stream Deck, I can easily toggle those on and off anyway. Well, I think it's time for us to make it so your viewers can make it pan and tilt and all that sort of stuff. So open up your streamer.bot if you hadn't yet and make a new action. Let's call this one zoom in and in the sub actions, go into the OBS source menu and pick the set source filter state. Then pick your PTZ camera and set the filter to zoom in and set it to visible. We're just gonna repeat this for the zoom out pan left, pan right, tilt up and tilt down by duplicating the action and changing the filter. For the triggers, we have two choices. The simplest one is a command. In the core menu, go to the commands, command triggered and make a new one. Call it zoom in and set the command to exclamation point zoom in or zoom plus, then click okay. Do the same for the others so you end up with a exclamation point zoom out, left, right, up and down command. Now people can trigger these commands in your channel to move your camera around. If you want to do this with channel points, we are going to make one more action, which I will call the camera controller. In this, we are going to add an if else statement by adding it from the core logic menu. For the variable, we are going to set it to raw input and as value, we will set zoom in. Then for the do action, we set it to the zoom in action and click okay. Now repeat this for each of the other ones. So it checks for zoom in, zoom out, left, right, up and down. Then as the trigger, make a new channel point redemption and call it control my camera. Set the user input required to on and make sure to let your viewers know what the available commands are in the prompt. And there you go. Your viewers can now control your camera. If you are looking to pick up one of these cameras yourself, then I will leave a link down in the description for you. Honestly, for $180, this is an incredible quality webcam that allows you to set up all of your settings, such as shutter speed, 
ISO and more manually. It is actually incredible how much you can do if you know the soft and hardware that is out there for streamers and learn to use it well. Streamer.bot is one of those all powerful pieces of software, but it has a UI that could have well been made in the 90s. If all we did before confuses you or you just want to learn more, then check out the ultimate streamer.bot starting guide right here. And as always, stream better, stream smart.